okay now let us talk something about the encryption devices although a number of the devices we have discussed earlier can perform encryption services there are dedicated appliances that can perform encryption as well the advantage of using these devices is that they normally provide more choice of encryption methods and stronger encryption options they also offload the process from other devices like routers and services which has a good thing because encryption and decryption process is a very tedious intensive process and it involves other functions that uh, routers and servers might not be performing sometimes these devices are called as encryption gateways as you can see on the screen this is an encryption appliance they can either sit in the line with a local server and uh, encrypting and decrypting all the traffic or they can function as an appliance or application server encrypting any file that is sent to them within a network now you can see the examples of the encryption devices on your screen while an encryption appliance is dedicated to encryption a content filtering appliance scans the content of what goes through it and filters out specific content or content types now dedicating a device to this process offloads the work from the servers or routers that could do this but at a cost of greatly slowing the devices also there is usually more functionality and granular control available with a dedicated appliance and that is why we employ encryption devices in our network email is a good example of what you might run through one of these devices to filter out spam and objectionable content before the email is delivered um another example of the use of a content filter might be to block basic uh, websites uh, based on the content of the web pages rather than on the basis of the url or ip address uh, an example of a dedicated content or url filtering application from a uh, security point of view is shown on the screen that is the dna120 rare view in the next lecture we will talk about analog modem so i hope this lecture was pretty clear the basic function of the encryption devices is to uh, encrypt and prevent the data uh, from malicious use or to just filter out packets that's it now in the next lecture we'll talk something about the analog modem